There are two letters that came this morning. One was from General Hospital Novo Mesto. And it's identical, identical, identical to the letters that they would send me from psychiatric department from General Hospital Novo Mesto. Just like this. This is on my mother's name. Yeah, obviously this is on my mom's name. And this is due to her broken leg, fractured leg problem. And this is exactly what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was talking about. But the point here is they're using broken leg issue from 2012 to introduce stuff which they involved in MK Ultra. Sometimes, I don't know, in 2016, 2015, 2017, they, they talked about how I'm going to get the letter, this and that. Parallel, uh, parallel to the procedure I would go through when complaining to police about MK Ultra. And so there were two letters. One was on my mom's name and another one was on me and it was a psychiatrist Peter Kopsch again who was playing with issue of psychiatric hospitalization and my complaining to Novo Mesto Police Department uh, individual from Ljubljana who sent a letter about how I must not sue um, a police officer how I uh, it's just going to be rem remedy remediation it's going to be just uh, mediation between uh, me and police officers imagine this kind of stuff um, had me at the police station with the letter uh, it was not only inside of the house and he brag about how well you know this is how I do the stuff. This is how I do the stuff. Um, they had meetings in, inside in here, which I had to witness, uh, listen to how they will remedy my case, how they will handle my case. Um, they had French, they had German, they had other people also occasionally, which agreed to this type of mistreatment. I saw this as a mistreatment. And at a police station, I was told by police officer Pevitz, a uniformed police officer, uh, that I betrayed him because I totally disagreed with the procedure they demanded for me to agree to remedy, uh, mediation, uh, etc., etc., etc. Uh, no right, give up the right to sue him. Uh, I don't know what else, what other trash they loaded over there in that paper. Um, something for what this Ljubljana prosecutor, this Ljubljana right hand from Borut Pahor, uh, insisted me two things that were meaningful. One thing was that this is how he does it. Uh, and that this is what I should absolutely complain against, give up on it, and so on and so forth. And then the second part, which was like, if we continue to do this stuff, um, that this will go to the, if you will continue this, and then it will be blah, 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 blah. So they wanted to, they presented me two things, which is totally criminal. It's just totally, totally criminal stuff. One thing they demanded for me to revolt against it, to reject it immediately, distance myself from it, uh, give him a scenario about what exactly will happen if I will pursue uh, the type of procedure they suggest. How the fuck do you suggest when this is all regulated by the statute? I mean... In the part number one, this is a letter number one, uh, they suggest a 
uh, that if it will be found that the police officer did uh, violated things, that that doesn't mean I can I can write about it, uh, have initiative like a civil initiatives, um, which are related to. Um, dissatisfaction to assign to the police a type of work um, there cannot be any discipline or financial recuperation or uh, penalty for a police officer that this is basically what I have to agree with. Intention of complaint that we mediate with one another, that we we hug one another, basically, that we pomerito. I don't understand this at all. I mean, this stuff here. <laughs> then this is illegal. This letter. It will be done at a police station from where the police, where the two police officers are deriving from. And who possibly, you know, who possibly have violated your, your rights and your basic uh, freedoms. <laughs> um, This is a tall guy from Ljubljana with whom I even went to the university when he studied, even had me. Uh, and this is a type of glasses. I don't know if he had a glasses. Uh, it's possible that he did have a glasses. A tall guy about between 185, 190 tall. Rather 190 than 185, in my opinion, but it's kind of a difficult to. A younger man. This man must be now probably age, um, I estimate maybe 45, 40, between 40 and 45, who was the one who presented to me this type of uh, uh, what would take place procedure so I, I this is insane I mean this paragraph here is completely insane I can tell you this is already total violation uh, and it could have even to do with a Joe Biden who is trying to regulate American laws uh, all kinds of issues uh, through this case uh, promote American civil rights liberties through extermination through further extermination procedure against me I am in need of medications not as psychiatrist Peter Kapsch claimed psychiatric medications but real medical attention And this is the letter, like I said, also arrived this morning. And I'm going to open one to see what's going on with this one. Um, I did mention to you already that this is the way this stuff is packed like this. So this anybody can open. This anybody can open this stuff. Yeah? And then if you want to close it, you just do it like this. And you deliver this at my door entrance. And there you go. Exactly what we did right now. So, first impression.
I'm sure you understand because I mentioned to you how many times, uh, because I mentioned to you again, in need of medications, and as a psychiatrist, Peter Kopp's claim, psychiatric medications. The issue behind it, psychiatrist Peter Kopp's police push forward cancer issues, severe health problems they created, advertise them to me through the pain and through the suffering, through the injuries, during MK Ultra, through the repeated, numerous times repeated injuries, developing autoimmune inflammatory, based on inflammatory diseases, disease based on tumorous locations they created, cancerous tumorous locations they created, and have used that issue during MK Ultra to accent me in the need of psychiatric medications whenever you will need, whenever you will feel that you are in need of medications, where you will mention in the camera. Yeah, he started already to tutor me how to say what to think when I talk to you on the camera during MK Ultra. This is how far this abuse went. And he said, in the need of psychiatric medications, whenever you say, in the need of medications. So this is the new letter I got. Uh, this reveals the degree of abuse, actually. Yeah, this is uh, the same. This is a copy-paste of the first letter that I got. Um, I do not agree with anything that is stated here. This is absolutely fact. However, this is equal to the first letter that I got. It's the same thing. This, these are, this is just maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is maybe a copy-paste, uh, definitely is a copy-paste copy, copy -paste letter. Um, this one is digitally signed, that's the only difference. Uh, but other than that, it's totally, totally the same, it's the same thing. Uh, however, there is a very, very painstaking procedure that I myself will continue to enforce. That means that I will come here in the meeting, that means that I will meet these people, that means that I will interrogate the people. Because the people who sent this to me alone, they, um, they must be interrogated. This is, this is about violation. The stuff that went on during MK Ultra, that's a violation. He demanded this guy from Ljubljana for me to agree if I want to have this procedure finish this MK Ultra, because this is not about the mistreatment of the two police officers which took place against me at the police station. It's about the MK Ultra case. Demanded from me at the police station during MK Ultra for me to agree to this stuff. And as I stated, Pevets called me a traitor at the police station for my disagreeing with this paper here. Um, and I did not understood what the fuck went on because Pevets was, I like Pevets during MK Ultra. During MK Ultra, I even aligned myself to Pevets because of degree, amount of abuse that other police officers from the Novo Mesto police station were involved in. Directly, physically threatening me, uh, mistreating me during MK Ultra, accusing me of things that are under no jurisdiction of theirs, uh, moral kind of stuff, ethical kind of stuff, lies. 
they did engage in a total schizophrenia, suggesting all kinds of issues that they're not even competent to discuss, even if they would be um, real those issues. They were not even in competence to discuss those kind of issues with me. Um, and second thing is it had nothing to do with reality. And I was doing this kind of stuff to design the whole crime in direction they wanted this crime to develop itself through the selected people. Uh, Pevitz was involved in uh, violations which involved use of arm, illegal use of arm threats, death threats inside of our house, home, not only outside, uh, something I already have discussed about, uh, insane stuff. And for the mistake I could likely make, and this is not a job of the police to, to resolve the issues like this, I could end up truly uh, inside of some uh, psychiatric hospital just as uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch hoped for uh, it would resolve for him. No? He was using this kind of issue from my mother from 2012 issue, totally criminal issue, to support what would be my agreement to whatever the police, whichever way police wanted to resolve this issue. This is very, very important. This is why I recorded that it came in the same stack, exactly according to MK Ultra scenario, exactly according to the scenario which they have used in MK Ultra to brainwash me. It was like this, go and open the mailbox. All the neighbors from the village had the key from the mailbox from Andre Uhl to Donna Collins, uh, they made themselves their own keys from the mailbox. Literally, literally like this. As to, for us, we only have one key. Maybe mother didn't want to make a second key so that she would remind me of the stuff I have stated to you right now. So that's the way they want to do it. This is the way they continue to enforce this stuff. And so let's see how this is going to develop. Uh, I don't know if I did, I think I did, suggest it in one of my videos that this type of work is just basically walking across the corpses. Um, Pevitz had a big problem with me when he realized the police station. He was very angry at me. Um, he totally revolted against me. Um, it was violent with also other police officer that was that didn't like the idea the way I responded to the police station because everything was nice but when they told me that you're gonna be you're just gonna let them free and I didn't even know what they mean exactly by this because during MK Ultra the only thing they were doing is they were giving you a clues you know dots clues clue here clue here clue there uh, even if they would tell you in between, uh, because of this, because of this and that, because they translated the procedure which took place at a police station on June the 21st, 2024. That's now one month, one week ago. Uh, they suggested that procedure, the bullying at the police station where I would come and file a complaint against director of police and police station as a form of assistance so yeah and i had to agree to that it was a form of assistance so if you go and you get yourself i'm not going to say get yourself in trouble because they pulled the hands they made the movements they made their moves with the idea to provocate physical altercation which was not the physical altercation but with the idea to to obtain the ability to act as if there was a need to confront physical altercation. This is worse. You're dead. You're really dead. You're dead. You go to the, you go to the prison and from there you go to the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Poli. That's all there is. These people cross the line big time.
and you better believe it, I refer to this procedure already as walking through the corpses, and this is what it is.